So in this video, I'm demonstrating multiplayer replication of a uh, grapple hook system. And as you can see, there are in fact two players running around here. The other player is over here, the black player, so black and silver. And uh, I'm going to control the black player. So I'm going to make this player be my camera, uh, so I can show you that this is actually multiplying or uh, replicating over the network. So I'm going to have this player's camera zoom out. That looks about right. Okay, so this, this camera belongs to this player, as you can see. Um, but we're moving it out for our, for our demonstration here. <laughs> That's about right. So now we have this, the black player, and observe that this black player's um, use of this this tether rainbow tether system I created does actually is actually being uh, replicated over this over the network. You can see I can see all the way down there. There there's the other player, <laughs> and um, and so all so there there's just no way this player would have gotten all the way up here uh, except for this tether system I created. And uh, and notice how it's all just replicating very nicely. <laughs> so I explain the details for how to do this in my code uh, that I'm providing with this tutorial. Ah, uh, get over there! No, I have to come right back. <laughs> so um, and notice I just warped the player back to the starting point, right? So the player fell off, jumped off into infinity, and comes right back. Uh, that ability to do that again is is I'm showing you the basic core of how to do all these custom manipulations of the pawn, and um, you'll find out if you look through the code that doing these kind of uh, network movement changes to pawns can be quite complicated. But the code I'm providing you is very simple. The method, method the methodology that I'm using is very simple, as you'll see from my code. I'm gonna jump off and catch myself. <laughs> But I did it. So, so you can see it's all replicating very nicely. <laughs> and uh, if, if this player, the black player, is on the ground, there's no way the black player can get up on top of these things. But if I use the tether system, it can easily do so. And then the other player is reflecting this. The other player can see this in their view. I'm gonna get up there. That's good. Almost. <laughs> I, I actually uh, clicked out of the window, that's why it froze for a second. <laughs> so, if we go over here, look, yay! <laughs> so that is just proving that this whole, this, uh, the code I'm providing you with does actually work for replicating any kind of pawn movements you can want. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And notice I can shrink or expand the tether so that um, I'm gonna land on top of here. Let's see. So I made it longer so I can actually stand while I'm still tethering. So the the length of the tether is also being replicated correctly, as you can see. Then I can shorten the tether so that it springs back up and goes very high like that. So everything is working just as it should. And I show you the basic code for how to do this these custom pawn movements in the tutorial. Hmm.